ECU stand awry on October 18 after what appeared to be a mix-up in communication. Before proceedings could begin, lawyers for Cecilia Dapa sought clarification from Justice Edward Trum regarding the petition to have him changed. He told the court that he had been notified that the OSP had withdrawn the petition before the Chief Justice and summoned the case to proceed. Lawyers for the Special Prosecutor, led by Dr. Isidore Tufour, filed a motion of certiorari at the Supreme Court to quash an earlier decision of the Accra High Court granting an application of an abridgment of time which had been filed by Cecilia Dapa, explaining to the court that delay in the hearing of the case was causing her discomfort and stress since her assets and bank accounts remained seized and frozen. Additionally, lawyers of the OSP also filed a motion to suspend proceedings until the application at the apex court had been determined. The presiding judge thus adjourned the hearing to October 25 for the OSP to move the motion to stay proceedings. Shortly after filing the motions, however, Dr. Isidore Tufour told the court that the Office of the Special Prosecutor had not withdrawn the petition to change the judge as had been communicated earlier by the court. In court today, Justice Trum adjourned the hearing to November 8 pending the determination of the request by the OSP after an in-chambers meeting with Cecilia Dapa and her husband together with her lawyers. Counsel for the Office of the Special Prosecutor, who were absent, will have to move their motion to suspend hearing of the case until the Supreme Court rules on their motion to quash the Accra High Court's decision when the court sits on November 8. Lord Edward, sorry, TV3 News, Accra.